So, so we're going to do spiritual mind treatment for financial freedom. It is not hoping. It is not hoping, it is not wishing, and it's not petitioning. It's not saying, okay, I'll be good enough, and then. It's a definite uh, direction to the law of mind. Okay, so what we'll start with is what is the presence, how we are unified with it, and then I will direct that law with some statements, some direct statements about financial freedom. If you disagree with the statements, just let them wash over you. But if, if you're willing to have more financial freedom, let it, let it come in. Okay, so, um, so I take a moment. And in this holy moment of right now, I recognize and know that there is only one power, one mind, that this mind is the divine mind of presence, of God, of the thing itself. It is all-knowing. It is everywhere present. It is that mighty moving power that it is without, be without beginning and without end. And it is infinite and eternal love, infinite and eternal prosperity, abundance itself. So knowing that this thing itself is abundance, is prosperity, is freedom, I know that because it is everywhere, I am one with it. I consciously remind myself that everything that is true of source is true of me to the best of my ability to embrace it, receive it, and accept it as being so. So in this holy moment right now, knowing my oneness with source, with prosperity, with life itself, I speak this word of power and of truth. I speak it in the first person for each one of us who is open and receptive to a greater experience of financial freedom. And this is what I know is true. I know that God in me is freedom itself. God in me is prosperity itself. Source in me is forever lighting my path, making the way easy and straight. What I know for myself is that I stay out of my own way and I make welcome the greater good that is already mine. I make welcome every aspect of wealth, including health and relationships. But because this prayer is for financial freedom, I make way for an increase in prosperity and financial prosperity greater than ever before. I let go of my limiting beliefs. I know that God isn't mad at anyone. I know that there isn't anything unsavory about any aspect of life itself, including money. I know that money is blessed and a blessing because it is the thing of exchange that we use to accept greater good. So I accept more than ever before. And I know that that more that I accept goes further than it's ever gone before because life itself is for me. It blesses me in so many ways. So in this holy moment of right now, I'm very, very grateful. I'm grateful because I know that the word that I've spoken is already fulfilled and is already so. I'm simply stating a spiritual truth. And knowing that it is so, my heart just opens in gratitude and thanksgiving. Grateful for this knowledge, grateful for this experience, grateful for source. I am that I am. I simply then just place this word and take it and place it in the law of mind 
I know that the law of mind does what it does and makes it so. And please help me anchor it by saying with me, and, and so, so it is. is.